songs running around the trees? Uh, it's not our stereotypical Bollywood film. You'll be disappointed there. But it has great songs. It has fantastic music by Nitish Pais and Charu Mohan. Uh, Nitish has um, formed an, a rock band in India. It is the first Hindi rock band. He has given a uh, background score uh, for the film too. And the title song is also composed by him. And uh, there is a very beautiful Sufi song in the film, which uh, comes in the uh, end credits, which is done by Charu Mohan. Um, the, the, the music is fantastic. And I was completely zapped when they made me hear the music. I was like, who's done this? And then walk in these two kids. They must be, in, I think, barely in the mid-20s, you know. And I'm like, it's not, it's not fun. I mean, I don't believe that these guys can do this music. And Nitish went up to me and said, uh, you won't believe it, I have a rock band. I have been working on this rock band and we've been touring around for a very long time and we've made so many, so much music. We are refused to perform at Hard Rock Cafe in India. Why? Because we are playing in Hindi. I said, this is the most diabolical thing that can ever happen to us. You know, on one hand, we take so much pride in opening a hard rock cafe in the heart of the city in Mumbai. And on the other hand, are you to Hindi? Mein oh. <laughs> I mean, I, didn't, I was like, okay, no problem. This is your big break, break and you're going to go along with it. I have a lot of film. I have a lot of film. I have a lot of film. I have and uh, I did a Dutch film called Driving Miss Panel. That was the first Indo-Dutch collaboration. Um, the writers had come from Holland. What's the name of the Dutch film? Driving Miss Panel. Panel? P-A-R-N-E-N. -E uh, I was playing a character called Tracy Emin. Um, she is an English painter. Uh, and I was playing her herself, you know. Uh, by her name. Every character in the film is real and we were playing accurately, you know, true to life uh, story. So it was, it was a very curious experiment. It never, it never released in India. It was only meant for Holland. Now you're having this career in the beautiful city of Fremont. So why is that? Can I ask? Open it to everybody. I, you're having this career in the beautiful city of Fremont. So what is the reason for this choice? You already give the answer. You said beautiful cities of the Ashland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the uh, producer chose this city. And Mr. Uh, Mr. Dylan, mm -hmm. uh, he, he wants her to come here as well. Yeah. Yeah, because he is responsible for Fremont and all Northern California for this movie also. <laughs> We have a lot of fans of Sartaj here okay. and friends, yeah. family. So that's why we choose this city. Yeah. Oh, and also from a distribution angle, see we've done a premiere in LA. It was yeah. probably the news all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, as someone who's like lived here and lived in LA, mm -hmm. I think we don't ignore our Indian audience. So the intention of doing in LA was not to say, okay guys, we're only going after the mainstream. We do like the mainstream, no question about that. But we also want to go to our, our main, uh, Indian audience. Yeah. And Ulti what better place than Ultimately, uh, you are my audience. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you people like it, then it makes sense, right? So, and uh, for me, San Francisco is uh, very special because first time when I came to United States, I came to this city. And my first event ever held through SAFA, he is the organizer for SAFA, was held in San Francisco. So I'm like, yes, anytime. <laughs> she has lectured in Stanford, guys, just FYI. And she actually lectured a class in Stanford. Also. Oh yeah, that was a Bollywood class. Uh, uh, it said, it talked about uh, the role of Indian women in Bollywood. Oh, wow. So, I'm like, all right, well, am I qualified to speak about it? <laughs> <laughs> so it was interesting. Are you releasing this movie only in India theaters or in mainstream, you know, uh, the other theaters also like Century 21 and then? I think I can do a crack at that. Uh, so basically, uh, we are, our intention was to, we are doing the worldwide distribution, but not in India. So India, oh, I cannot oh, qualify. Uh, our company is called Golden Gate Creations, and Barca is a partner in that, Barca and myself. So we are releasing it in the United States for now. 
I've seen how it does in the United States will propel us to decide whether we want to go to Canada, whether we want to go to UK. To answer your question specifically, no, we are not releasing it in Century, etc. For the simple reason that the star system, which exists in Bollywood, right. unfortunately also exists in this part of the world. Kind of thing. So, uh, so the question logically would have been, okay, is who are the stars in this and stuff like that. That's one. Secondly, as Barkha uh, rightly answered, we do want to mention to the, to the world that while we get an LA Times review, that we are not running away from the Indian audiences out here. So we chose theaters in uh, seven cities right now, which are in Indian-centric places, like New Jersey, like D uh, DC, like uh, uh, Dallas, like here, like Berkeley. Now Berkeley is a strange mix because that's yes. a you know, multi-ethnic mix. So we are, what we are saying is uh, a lot of theaters are determined by the kind of uh, audience that we see over there. And we didn't see that in Century, so hence we chose these seven. Yeah, I think in a way it's a limited release, and uh, it's a uh, it's not a very stereotypical Bollywood film. Uh, from what I understand, it's a new age cinema. You know, uh, when we watch it, when you guys watch it, you will understand what I mean. Um, for exhibitors and, and distributors out here and theater owners to understand the the sensibility of new cinema, I think it will take a little while. And once the news spread out. You know, so I'm sure next time they will be more acceptable, more open in, in taking content like this. Um, everybody in India or abroad wants to see Bollywood emerging. You know, I'm not saying I grew up in Rashi Prasa, so did I think everybody else. I grew up watching Amitabh Bachchan films, and so did everybody else in this room. I mean, I'm not saying that that's bad, but we have to evolve. We have to have something which is more different. And there is so much talent in India. You know, we just see movie coming out of three camps. What, what happens to everybody else or anybody else in this room who has aspirations to be a director or a writer or an actor? We should just keep our dreams as a fantasy and never think about it, or we should do something about it. So uh, Vivek and I decided to form TGC with this thought. You know, that there has to be a platform for people who have talent, you know, and I'm not just saying that vague idea of talent. Like this team was put up, they were very structured, they were very clear what they wanted to do. So there has to be a way that, you know, we can showcase more stuff. We can say, yes, uh, we do have uh, intelligent filmmakers. And we don't really have to rely on stars to make a product. There is something called art, there's something called cinema. It's not just business, <laughs> it is show business. Show me something more interesting. Right. You know? Hence, we are here and uh, it's, a, it's a limited start. I mean, I would say it's a little gradual start, but I'm sure it will pick up. 